Yo. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? Why are you dancing? You're supposed to be brainstorming ideas for something to do on the mayor's float at the Founders Day Parade. Well, we were brainstorming, but then it turned into a dance party. Like all uh, our brainstorming uh, sessions. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah! Guys, huh? this is important. Tom's the new mayor. His presentation at this parade will set the tone for the whole year. Lucky for you, I've prepared something that's really going to impress the crowd. Hmm. Our cyclical municipal dynamics of Ben, this is just a boring speech. Uh, b -b 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 boring speech? It's a detailed summary of the state of the town. You're the mayor. What are you going to do? Dance around for people? Whoa, that's it. My presentation will be a big mayor dance. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Smart brain thought, Ben. No, that's not what I... Woo. Yeah, Ben, we are picking up what you are throwing down. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling the mayor groove. <laughs> Okay, this is fun, but if we could just get back to the data. Oh, yeah, I can work the data in. <laughs> Ooh. Ow! Oh, ow! My knee! Oh, man. Oh, Ben, look what you did. How am I going to do my big mayor dance now? Hey, don't blame Ben. He didn't know his idea was so dangerous. <laughs> my idea was fine! You guys just didn't listen to me! Didn't we? Thought we did. Ah! Oh. I am sorry that you managed to hurt your own leg, but I have something that can help. Will it fix my twisted knee? No, but it will fix the communication problem that led to your twisted knee. What communication problem? We do not speak at the same level because I am very smart and the rest of you are smart challenged. So I created the Brain Orator. What does this thing do? Please describe the functionality of this device. It takes what I call garage talk and converts it to brilliant bin vocabulary. Ben, the problem isn't the way we talk, it's the way you talk. What do you mean? I'm sorry, let me translate. The problem isn't the way we talk, it's the way you talk. The quandary we face is not our lack of vocabulary, but rather your inability to speak in a way that connects with your friends. Oh, huh. See, we're communicating already. I just want to have an intellectual conversation once in a while. When you have them with me, Ben, but... I know, Zini Panini, but I wish I could have them with Tom and the rest of the gang. Well, if you're looking for some friends who are as smart as you, you should join... The Smarties. <gasps> the super mentally advanced, really, truly intellectually endowed society? Are you a member? Of course. There's chapters everywhere. You should go to one of their Smarty parties. Psst, I couldn't help but over here. Are you looking for a new hat? No, dummy, this is a computer store. Go away. Ben, that's Smarty's secret code. This one seeks an initiation. Follow me. Uh. Ah! Huh? <gasps> hmm. <gasps> wow, this is impressive. Go! Ah! Welcome to the Smarty Party. We'll need two forms of genius, please. Uh, let's see. I've got a letter from my high school science teacher. I always carry it around. And, of course, my new invention, the Brain Orator. That is a wonderful invention. Oh, great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really wouldn't mind some of that red punch. Uh-uh. Punch is for Smarties. But you are not a Smarty yet. First, you have to prove that you're not just a normal. Activate the test tube. Whoa! Hey, what's going on? Huh? Wait a minute. I recognize these numbers. It's the Fibonacci sequence. The next number is 987. Arthropods. A pangolin. Covalent bonds. Octahedron. Decahedron. So decahedron. And that is Orion's belt. Looks a little tight, if you ask me. Maybe Orion needs to stop eating so much Crab Nebula. Oh, <laughs> oh, a perfect score. And one extra point for that delightful pun. Here's your official headgear. Welcome to the Smarties. Huzzah! Finally, my people! 
If I can't dance, what am I gonna do in the Founders Day Parade? Okay, check out what Hank is doing. You could impress the crowd by catching food in your mouth. Uh, what does that have to do with the town? Uh, it's like the popcorn is crunchy, you know, and you're a good mayor, so then the thing is, I don't know. You figure it out. Popcorn me, Hank! Here it comes! <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that'll set the exact tone I'm going for as mayor, but thanks. There's not gonna be much you can do with the busted wheel. Hmm. I've got it! What if you sing? But I'm a terrible singer. Maybe a little higher. You, you mean like this? No, more like this! Oh, 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 oh. that crazy square thing on your head? It's not a crazy square thing. It's my official Smarties headgear. You probably have not heard of them. The super mentally advanced, really, truly, intellectually endowed society. Oh, I thought you said they were called the Smarties. Oh, Hank, the gaping chasm between us has never been more apparent. Oh, I get it now. Ben joined a hat club. Good job, Ben. Oh, this is what I was talking about before. It's like we're not even speaking the same vernacular. Or the same language. But I... Oh. Hey, you must be the Smarties. Ah, uh, yes. This is my friend, Angela. She's a singer. Oh, a vocalist. So what do you sing about? Mostly love. Oh, and friendship. <laughs> <laughs> love and friendship. How original. Are you for or against it? <laughs> Let me guess. For. Definitely for. What? Huh? I see you've got a hat too. Yeah, parades today. And I'm gonna make this limp work for me by doing my old prospector character. Oh, cinnamon and gravy. I done stake my claim out yonder. Well, that is horrid. Do you know who would come up with something a little bit better? The Smarties. Yeah, maybe they could teach me how to be a jerky know-it-all. What? They're not jerky, they're just smart. Hey Tom, you ready to get your parade on? Hey Ben, did you finally ditch those rotten Smarties? Everybody lay off, I like the Smarties, they're just like me. They're not just like you, they're mean and snobby. You're just jealous I finally have friends that are my intellectual peers. Oh Ben, we've got a surprise for you. It's a surprise for all of you. A bigger brainerator. Well, usually we make tech smaller, but you've done the unexpected. Yes, we reverse engineered your invention to create the no-brainerator. The sun's circumference is more than 4.3 million kilometers, and its core temperature is 15 million degrees. The sun is big and hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, 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 that sounds like me. <laughs> yes, it is you, but I don't want you to feel left out. The sun is big and hot. <laughs> the sun <laughs> is big <laughs> and hot. I gotta admit, it's a good impression of me. Hey, it's embarrassing. Oh, only if you care what they think. Hank, that... That's true. Huh. I don't care if these guys try to embarrass me. I know who my real friends are. So have fun with your smarties, Ben. I reckon it's time for the parade. I think I saw it over yonder. Um, mm-hmm. Huh, they were too dumb even to be insulted. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> the Brinerator. Tom was right. You really are a bunch of jerky know-it-alls. I'm quitting the Smarties. Well, I stake my claim on this here town. Ah, the mayor's routine makes no sense. Boom! Tom, we have to do something else. Maybe we can dance you. What? Yeah. 
Huh? Gotcha. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Is there room in the float for one more, friend? Are you here to make fun of us again? Because if you are, make it quick. No, I'm here to help you guys, M my real friends, I if you'll let me. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, inherently, Ben. Inherently. Well, that's not what inherently means. I think you... Oh, who cares? Let's move to the mayor crew. <laughs> I cannot reach the subscribe button. Can you press it for me? The Taco Spaghetti Burger. Now this TSB is super delicious. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Uh-uh. You missed. I don't know that. <laughs>